Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm doing a review, a quick one. Uh, this is a, a pair of my friends, Kawhi New Balance sneakers. These are, I believe, called the Kawhis. Uh, I'm about to open them up, as you can see, pretty much very, very quickly. It's in the box. Probably not gonna come out. I think he already got rid of them. Let's see here. paper as you can see it's, it's it says Kawhi on it sorry about the lighting it's not that great uh let's take these out very quickly just do a very quick review of these by the way to anybody who's a clippers fan sorry about you guys uh not making it huge upset either way doesn't matter. We move on. This over here is 3M. Sorry of you. The number two, which is his, his jersey number. As you can see over here. And the only reason I'm doing these like this is because my friend can be a pain in the butt about his sneakers and things like that he was actually nice enough to allow me to do a quick review of these without much so as you see the, in, the inside of the insole has new balance Kawhi signature sneaker this is the Kawhi signature sneaker this looks like it's all 3M Again, sorry about the lighting. Also over here has his number two. From what I read, this over here is basically uh, the pattern to pretty much In regards to his uh, his corn rolls, as you can see up here, you can see this is a nice leather. I think uh, let's look at the bottom part. You have this new balance metal plate, and again a clear outsole. I'll let you know what that means. It'll be getting dirty pretty quick once you step outside and this is also this is the technology that they're using on the sneaker which is a fuel cell from New Balance and over here which is pretty much to me probably the best part of the sneakers is this heel counter right here with this embossed New Balance logo as you can see this thing is awesome very very nice also again in the back Kawhi signature again uh, this is my channel E-24G it's very very early word has it that he got rid of these so just trying to do a very quick review on these before these go out very nice uh, opinion wise New Balance has a uh, has picked up their their game when it comes to two sneakers uh, I guess you know the more that they have more NBA players that sign with their with them I mean Kawhi is a big big signing again they're writing off last year's uh of course, title run with him and the Raptors. Uh, and this was supposed to be a sneaker that he wore when he uh, sank the shot against the Sixers, which is the reason why they call it four bounces. It's a lot of details of the sneaker uh, when it comes to this. Uh, and again, as far as it's a very nice sneaker. For his signature sneaker, it's a very nice. I love the back. I love the heel counter. That's the support. 
You see this pretty much is a blue plate over here. Uh, I'll be putting up more stuff. Uh, haven't gone to it. A lot of things going on, haven't been around. So luckily, uh, my friend uh, let me do a quick review of these as he's actually, I believe, shipping these out. That's what he told me. So I said you could do a quick review, just don't do much with it. So here it is. Hopefully, uh, again, they can't try them on because, again, this is something that's going out to someone else. So uh, as far as resale, I'm not sure how good these are doing. I'm not sure how good they're going to be going for. It is his first Ninja sneaker. At the same time, though, unfortunately, when it comes to basketball and playoffs and so on and so forth, limited editions, it's there. It's a very, I, I like it more than the original New Balance Omnis. I know those weren't his sneakers. Uh, I recommend them if you like Kawhi. If you like New Balance, if you like Kawhi. These are good. Uh, from a size perspective, I actually did call New Balance and asked them how they're sizing for the sneaker. They said you probably are better off going half a size up because they have received complaints. Not complaints, but pretty much feedback about on your left foot the left side closer to the big toe right on that side uh, it usually can be a little tight you might need to break them in but that's why from what the store told me they would recommend going half a size up I didn't try these on again these are not mine again the best way to find out is you trying the sneaker yourself it's always important to do it that way because you might hear go half a size down go go true to size go half a size up whichever the case is it's always best to try them on and see what kind of policy they have from that store or from the reselling store whether it's a goat StockX, or any other one uh, to make sure that you're covered uh, quick review again Thank you very much for watching E-24G. Please comment, like, subscribe, pass the word on. I'll be trying to put more videos up. Not just sneakers of different things. And uh, soon I hope to do a couple of uh, things that are separate from this. But I'll keep them the same channel just to stay loyal to this channel. And hopefully gain as many subscribers as possible. Thank you guys for watching, for putting all your time, and also for anybody who's watched the videos before and given some feedback and positive comments. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll do my best to keep on doing more. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe out there, and thanks for watching.